Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. Going to go you and show this clutch right here. All right. You see how it turns and how it operates. These fit into the grooves, as you've seen in my other videos, right there. Of the spring. Okay. So there you are. Fits right into the grooves of the spring, going the way around. Okay. On both sides. That's the way that works. Okay. So it has taken me a long time going back and forth to loosen this screw up. This one is really still stuck. Still working on that one. But here. I've managed to loosen that one. Okay. Governor would be here. That one is completely rusted out. Essentially, this camera is unrepairable, but I'll still go through some of this just to show you. Governor would go there, flip it around just like this. Okay. Most of the problems you're going to have with a uh, the film slipping or the, this particular this take up spool not turning. Okay, and this is going to be most of the problem right here. Film may spill into the camera. Okay, it may this uh, take up spool may not turn. It may turn slowly, and this is the big issue. It's difficult to get to because the motor is covering it. All right. So what I've done is I'll show you how I got under here. All right. So what you're going to have to do is lift this up. And right here, with a spindle, i use a pair of pliers and catch it right onto this flat surface right here. All right, you have to hold that in one hand until you can see that it's moving. You've got a good grip, a good hold to it. All right. Next, your screwdriver, you have, to, you have to loosen this. So it's taken me a long time to get this moving, which is not surprising because of the rust and corrosion. All right, once you get this going, there's going to be pieces under here. You have to remember how they came off. All right. This screw on out of here. Okay. Put that on my table. I'll show it to you. There you go. I'll put that off to the side. Next. I'm going to slide these out of the way. Okay. I got this gear here. Push it and slide it. Remember, the teeth are going clockwise. Always remember that. The teeth are going clockwise. So upon reassembly, you'll need to know that. So why is your film sp spilling out into your camera here on this end with a take up? Why is it not moving or moving just a little bit sporadically? Is it because of the old lubrication under here? It's all turned to goo and it needs to be removed and all this area cleaned. Okay. I'm just going to pick this up. Pull it off. Next, just pull the spindle out. Okay. See what that is? 
pull it straight on through just like that flip this over I'm gonna have a washer here it's bent inward take a good look at all that trash that's on it you see all that you see all that trash dirt grime that's on here that's the problem right there that's causing it to move slow or not at all all right okay so remember this washer is bent inward so as I pull it off you see how it's bent inward see there put that off to the side yet again see how that old lubricant bad Okay. All right, so all that's got to be changed. That's all got to be cleaned off, cleaned and relubed. I also want to share this with you. Here, there's a washer. And do you see all the grime there as well? Okay, well, that's a washer on top. So you got to take your micro screwdriver, put up under here, and pull it out. It may be stuck. Just pull that right off. And there you are. See all that grime right there? How nasty that is. That is what's preventing the take up spool from rotating so remember the motor has to be removed to get to this and that's why you need to send this camera to a service technician to be repaired this is not a repair you need to do yourself it's dangerous for that motor see how nasty So again, if you attempt to service a camera or your camera, any mistakes you make upon your or a camera or to yourself are all on you and it's best to send your camera to a service technician for repair. Do not attempt to do this because of the power of that motor. It's dangerous to yourself and dangerous to the parts of the camera. All of this will have to be cleaned, and this area will have to be cleaned as well. As far as the supply goes, I'll have to keep working on that. So all I can do at this point is take some weapons oil drop it on there and see how long it's going to take to penetrate it if at all it's the only thing that can be done waiting And I'll show you, you're going to end up, when doing this type of thing right here, a lot of dirt on yourself and on your tech table. This is all rust. And it all came from this camera, which is a small amount of work. Okay, so this is degreaser, and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the parts in here. 
as you've seen how dirty and filthy they are. Let all this get to work. See how nasty all this stuff is, man. It's really bad. Imagine this stuff being together since the time of manufacturing of that camera. All right. So I'm going to let that sit, focus, going to let this sit as long as possible until I start seeing some results and start to clean it. So I'm still trying to loosen this by hand right here with a screwdriver. I really don't want to put a tap power tool to it because I could break the screw. I just had to keep working on it. So just to show you what I'm doing here to loosen this screw up right here, okay? It's really, really set in there over the decades. Um, one method is to apply heat to it. So I'm gonna turn it over. I just apply heat. To the head of that screw for a little bit of time. Okay. Turn it over. A little soft hammer here. Give it a, give it some wax just lightly. And once in a while repeat that process. Then go back into the same deal. Now it's really difficult to get this thing out of here. Don't want to budge. Just keep working on it. This is a situation you have to end up. Taking some degreaser and putting right on there and let that sit for a while same thing I've been working on this camera for the longest time will it ever get fully restored I have no idea it's gonna take other parts because some of these gears here are just rusted through and they're just there's no saving them the ones that are on here. All right, they're just gone. I'm also gonna take this spindle right here and turn it to get that, to hopefully get that degreaser to penetrate through a bit to that screw. So this I want to show you. This has been sitting uh, for several hours. Uh, tomorrow morning will be one day, 24 hours there. So look how dirty that is. Okay. So you get the idea why when you first get a Bolex in, you need to send it out to a service technician for a CLA, clean lube and adjustment. All right. Before filming, that's why. Especially in colder months, those old lubricants will lock up your camera in colder months. You know, got to make sure you get that done. Okay, I'm going to slide this off to the side, just like that. I'm going to bring this back into play. Widen it out here. 
So the reason this take up right here is so difficult to get to, you got that spindle there. So here's the supply, easy to get to. The take up is not, and this is the one that causes the most issues. Okay, but you know, they both need to be lubricated, cleaned and lubricated. All right. So it's difficult to get to the take up because of the motor. This is your Bolex H16 motor. All right. It fits right into this hole. Okay. Take it, put it right in there. There you go. Another issue is here with this motor. You know, people will get their Bolex and say, hey, you know, you know, it, uh, the handle is locked and it won't turn any further. Don't force the camera any further because you're putting pressure on this motor with a spring inside of it. It could snap, you know. There are times when it's the, the issue is the motor, just because the lubricants inside need to be replaced and the clutch barrel motor cleaned inside. Uh, the um, spring needs to be checked for cracks, you know, damages, rust, corrosion, that type of thing. Although that's kind of rare, that's what needs to be done. Definitely the um, graphite grease needs to be replaced. All right, and inside of here cleaned. And then the clutch under here needs to be cleaned just as we're doing now. All right, but you don't need to dismantle this, send it to a service technician for repair. You know, it's gonna unwind, you know, and chip some of these teeth is what it's gonna do right here, okay? even though you have fully unwound the camera and that's another thing you know you have to fully wind down these motors before dismantling the cameras otherwise it will unwind and snap to a stop it's going to damage some of your other gears here potentially it will definitely damage the motor okay is what it will do and then you get a real problem all right and uh, even though you have fully wound down this motor inside here, once you, once it's the cover is taken off, it's still pre-wound that spring, and it still packs a lot of power. And I have other videos on that you can check out. Okay. Next, these the washer. Come on, Ant, whoever you are, get out of there, off my hand. Gear. Actually, be clockwise. All right, and then the screw. It's more like gunky mess there. Here are the parts. I'll just start cleaning them off one by one but that won't be the end of it this stuff will have to be buffed out from rust and everything chrome's going to be an issue I have to re remove and re-chrome that the dirt At least now it's shiny. Washer. That's going to have to be buffed. 
It's rusted so much. Okay. Clutch. to buff this one. Not to buff it, but uh, you can't wear any of the metal off or the camera will not operate. So keep that in mind with all your parts. You can't grind anything here. That's very rare. Ports and gears were a different issue. No grinding. Okay. Made a de decent amount of success here. Look at that. It loosened all that stuff up. That's what that degrease was for. Loosen all this stuff up. This old lubricant. Then you're going to have to buff it to get it clean. See there? So again, when you send your camera to a cervix technician, you wonder what's taking so long when you buy a camera in this shape. We're going to give you a quote. Better. Sides. Pipe cleaner. There you are. That's going to make that chain belt slip inside of here. There's a chain belt that goes on there. All right. The rest of this stuff is the same deal. Clean off the excess. And you have to get in here and buff it all off. That's what's going to have to happen. Gear. That's looking pretty good. She's just going to need a buffing. And don't forget about the screw. Turn it like so. Pipe cleaner. Turn it with your thumbnail. And yeah, that had to be buffed. All right.
A lot more cleaning to go. Get that back in focus. So there we are. You see all the work that goes into this type of thing. And this is why you also don't want to get your camera wet or have it around any type of moisture. Okay, I'm going to start with this clutch right here. And I'll pull the ends out. As you can see, micro mini flat. See if I can unscrew these first, if it's going to give it to me. If not, I'll have to start working around them. Wow. This is what takes up, as I've said before in my previous videos, most of the time is this rust and corrosion. When these parts and screws are frozen in there, it's just a really big issue. Sometimes it's almost impossible to get them to move. All right, so I'll deal with that later for right now. It's time to buff it out. This is a soft brush. Inside. So you get the idea here. And so there's going to be a lot of time spent just doing this and getting it all clean. Shiny, that type of deal. A long way to go. So, you're going to get, for right now, this versus this. But you got to get it brighter and shinier. Okay? So everything will operate and spin smoothly, okay? All right, so there we have it. A Bolex H16 clutch and the rest of the parts right there. And that film plate, we got to clean. And it contains for the whole camera as well, you know? So again, it's going to take a lot of time. And it has been taking a lot of time. So anytime... Anytime that you get a camera, 
a Bolex or any vintage movie camera and you send it to a service technician for a new CLA cleaned, lubed, and adjustment in this type of condition, that much rust and corrosion, you know, it's going to take a long time. You know, upon, you know, if that the uh, technician agrees to do the work. All right? Do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen. And remember, as always, do subscribe. Until next time, later.